Hi, I'm Heather Staines, the Director of Partnerships for Hypothesis. Today I'll be doing a brief demo of the features and functionalities of Hypothesis. I'm a researcher working on an article, Vulnerability to Earthquake Hazard. As I'm reading along, I come across some interesting information that I want to take note of. I just select the text. Hypothesis will ask me if I want to highlight or make an annotation. I'll select annotation. This is interesting. I can add a tag. Hypothesis will ask me if I want to post to the public or keep it private just for me. I'll select just for me. Now I have an annotation that lives atop the published article. In addition to annotating to the public or just for me, I can share an annotation via social media or via email. Just select the link on the clipboard. The person that you share the link with you won't have to have a Hypothesis account or even know that it exists. The article open, the client will pop out, and they'll be scrolled precisely to the annotation that I made. It's really convenient. One of the cool things about Hypothesis is the annotations work across formats. I've been annotating on the HTML. Let's download the PDF. In addition to transferring from HTML to PDF, we recently completed a project where annotations will transfer to the EPUB as well. And there it is. In addition to annotating to the public or just for me, I can also create a private group. Just select the drop down next to public and click on new group. You'll be asked what you want to call your group. I'll call mine earthquake studies. Now I have a dashboard for my group. It shows me when the group was created, who the members are, and I can use this link here to invite new members to the group. Let's go back to our original article. Now I find something else that I want to take note of. Now rather than annotating to the public, I'm going to select my Earthquake Studies group. This is interesting. I'll add some tags. Now I'll post this annotation to my group. Someone else in the group might come along and reply. In addition to putting text in, they could also drop in some math. Someone else might come along and reply by dropping in a video. You can play it from right here in the sidebar. Scandals happen all the time. The question is how do democracies respond? In addition to having threaded conversations across a document, you can also connect documents to each other. This is the USGS site on earthquakes that have happened recently in the world. Here's an earthquake that I want to take some notice of. I can add this to my earthquake studies group as well. It follows me across the web. I'll create some tags. And post it to my group. I can also grab that annotation link and go back to my original article. I can edit my existing annotation that relates to this earthquake. Just highlight the text, drop in the link, and voila, you've got two articles connected to each other across the web. In addition to annotating HTML, PDF, and EPUB, you can also annotate data. Here's some data about earthquakes. I've got a question on this one. Is this right? Put it in our earthquake studies group. Someone else in the group can come along and reply. Let's go back to our dashboard. As I've been making annotations, they're accumulating on my dashboard here. So I can see all the annotations that have been made in the group. 
if I use this arrow, I can go back to any of the annotations in context. Also, my tag cloud has been accumulating. So I can select my most frequently used tags and they'll be added to the facets at the top of the search. Publishers are using our group functionality to create publisher groups, publisher branded and visible by default layers that publishers control for conversations on top of their content. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. We'd be happy to help you.